This is Sarah, and this weekend I got to go to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California for their open house, and it was awesome. The plan was originally that I was going to bring noodle feet along with me in my papoose, so I was going to finally build the noodle papoose so that he could uh, see his, his heroes for the first time, because he kind of looks up to all those, you know, space robots that get to do the things that he wants to do one day when he grows up. Noodle's dream is to one day land on Mars and wander around and, I don't know, have his own little adventure in space like Mommy dreams of having. Unfortunately, I did not get to bring Noodle with me. Uh, but he was definitely there in spirit, and I got to see the actual mechanism that inspired Noodle's toes. So uh, about a year ago, I saw this video that JPL put out of one of their probes that they had designed, which uh, clings to the surface of asteroids with all these tiny little like micro spines in the middle of this this foot so hundreds of toes contract outwards and grip onto the surface of the rock and then it it drills into it with like a, a taster like a drill taster and takes samples back which i thought was so cool and um i don't know i watched the video again and again and was like well i need to make one of these and now noodle has toes so uh that's how that happened and uh, I actually got to hold one of those exact toe mechanisms this weekend, which was amazing. It was very nice of them that I was able to do that. Except now, uh, Noodle, I think, has toe envy. Uh, I mean, he has 32 toes, and I don't think that's enough for him anymore. I'm gonna have to up his toe count by at least a magnitude of, I don't know, two times as many? So he'll have 64 toes, because it's always better to have more toes than less toes. You can never have too many toes. Anyhow, there were these awesome rooms uh, with all these scientific instruments and equipment and stuff that I didn't understand, but I got to feast my eyes on them anyway, which was cool. Laboratory porn? Yeah? Where I'll never work, ever? <laughs> I guess we'll burn out your eyes. No wax. Me. That's not good for Sarah. No lasers. Bad. I got to see NASA's machine shop, which had a bunch of stuff doing things to metal that was like beyond anything I've ever seen. It would have, it would have made noodle juice if he had been in that room watching what these machines were doing to raw pieces of aluminum. I got to see a life-size version of Curiosity, and it was a lot bigger than I expected. It was, like, larger than a car. Noodle would not even have come up above one of the wheels of Curiosity, so, I mean, like, I don't know how that would work out, Noodle. Curiosity's just bigger than you. I guess size doesn't matter. Something that I, that was smaller than I expected was the, um, mission control. It was still really cool, but for some reason I was expecting something larger than like one of the sports books here in Vegas that you'd find in a typical casino. But whatever, I got to see it. It was a really nice setup overall. Um, a lot of the rooms were made out kind of like a science fair. There were vignettes and dioramas set up where families could come up and get information on, you know, their different missions and what they had discovered about planets and stuff. And uh, overall, it was a cool experience, and I'm very inspired and happy that I got the opportunity to go. And I think I'm definitely going to start rearranging the cosmos to find some way to make it to JPL where I can, I don't know, do a residency or a fellowship and uh, continue to develop uh, Noodle with the aspirations that he'll one day make it to Mars and get to walk around and draw on the dirt like he wants to. So um, until then, uh, I'm going to work on those toes. And I got the t-shirt, so yeah.